right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so on this video uh, you're going to see a handful of videos that I put together in reference to uh, Glenn Glenn cereal uh, now mind you the reason I uh, put these videos together because in that video that I posted a couple of days ago in reference to Glenn is back in the picture uh, there were people asking questions about his probation and other questions that I could not answer okay I uh, think about it the guy has been gone for almost a year now right if not a year and um uh, doing research and who better to go to for research but Tella Klein. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Tella Klein, let me say that Tella Klein is Glenn Serial's worst nightmare. Yes, you heard me correctly. Tella Klein is Glenn Serial's worst nightmare. Uh, just before he disappeared, a uh, couple of months, uh, she was on him like white on rice. Everywhere he was at, she was right there recording him. And I think we've all made comments about uh, if we could only find uh, somebody who had the time and would make the effort in every area that there was a frauditor we could find somebody who would take uh, time out of their day and record these assholes follow them wherever the hell they go and record them uh, just like what they do to uh, other people on a daily and trust me I think that would uh uh, it would it would definitely put a damper on their program. Uh, I think we've all come to realize that frauditors don't like being recorded. Uh, you got a uh, uh, ass Elmo. I put a video of him a while oh my god a while ago where he was at a courthouse and a court officer was recording him and he got totally bent out of shape, especially because the officer was giving him a silent treatment while recording him. Okay. Uh, we all know Christopher Cordova. He gets bent out of shape uh, the minute he gets uh, recorded or a picture taken of him. Uh, he wants to start that threatening about FOIA requesting and so on. So, again, I say we all know uh, that frauditors don't like the shit that they do to people seven days a week okay so again I say it would be nice if we could find somebody I'd definitely be willing to go in my pocket uh, to make up for that individual's fuel uh, time and so on okay and um uh, again, uh, that would be great. Um, but anyway, again, I say uh, the videos, I put a handful of videos together that Tella Klein is, uh, she has uh, put together. And um, I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description. Uh, trust me, guys, if you uh, want any kind of info on uh, Glenn, uh, pay attention to her channel. Uh, she is um, on her like white on rice. Now, uh, before we kick the videos on, again, let me say, uh, Glenn is still on probation now. I honestly thought that was over with and so on uh, because of that little bull crap that he, uh, a couple of days ago, I told you I got an email with a picture that he took of a sign at American Airlines. And then underneath that picture, he posted on his community tab guess who's back and in my opinion uh, this is Glenn's way of fishing to see if people are still interested in his channel and the kick in the ass is guys yes uh, there are people that are still interested in that asshole coming back okay now mind you again I say he is still on probation till next year May of 2024, okay? Uh, he is still on probation. He cannot afford to get into trouble. Now, that little minute uh, minute and 26 second video that he did that he titled uh, uh, Manager Shutdown, I forget the exact way he titled that video. Again, I say he's testing the waters to see if people are still interested in him, okay? If you remember, just before he disappeared, his videos were being, uh, were, in my opinion, they were pitiful. This man was going to uh, post offices, immediately walk into the post office and look for a corner to go plop his ass in and just stand there recording people. His videos were getting like 2,000. Um, listen, you guys know my views ain't all that great, right? My views were topping his views, so you know he was doing bad, okay? So, again, I say, uh, just before he left, he, he, he was looking pitiful. And in my opinion, I can only imagine money's getting tight. And um, 
I guess this is quick, easy money. Uh, let's jump into the video. Again, uh, I'm going to put a link in the channel, uh, the description to Telecline's channel. Check it out, and if you like what you see, subscribe, guys, okay? She, uh, again, I say, she's very informative on Glenn. She's on Glenn like white on rice, guys. Let's jump into the videos, and we'll go from there. Hey, Glenn, do me a favor. Just stay right over there for right now. Yeah, okay? I, I, I want to press charges for stalking. Go, go ahead and just come I'm right, right here. Glenn, please, over I'm, there. I'm 20 feet away. Glenn, I'm trying to help you out, bud. I need to investigate. Can you go ahead and sure. stand over there, please? Right here? Yeah. This is a public street. Yeah. So what's going on? So tell me what's happening. I'm just part of a Facebook group that mm -hmm. um, records Glenn because he likes to harass people. And so... Is what you no. do stalking? Glenn, I'm not asking you to speak right I'm now. I'm not please. asking you for nothing. I'm telling you I'm pressing Glenn, charges. What they're Glenn, I need you to stop interfering. Call your lieutenant. And you need Call to your wait. lieutenant down here. What's that? Call your lieutenant down here now. Are you afraid of a camera, Glenn? No, do you not like me. to be filmed? Criminal charges. I'm pressing charges. For what did I do? I'm on a public I'm street. Press charges. Okay, I'm just on a public street filming. I, okay, but just stop talking to Glenn because okay. Glenn doesn't know how to follow instructions. We can make it easier, okay? To figure out what's going on. Can I have you come to my location? Uh, I have Glenn Serio here, and he's interfering with the investigation that involves him as well. Hello. We are outside the Snohomish County Corrections, the Snohomish County Jail, where Glenn will be spending five days and nights and nights upcoming they did not say when he has to report but we can't wait <laughs> the good news is the appeal was denied and glenn will be serving his five-day sentence for reckless driving this has been a ticket from three years ago in november of 2019 he received his uh, reckless driving ticket and then in July last year, he was sentenced to five days in jail. And it has taken until today for the appeal to be denied. The judge denied for, I'll let go ahead and tell. For two reasons, um, on the rogue appeal. And his lawyer was nice enough to tell the judge that Glenn is currently in Texas but he has been spotted by more than one person in the last week in the Aurora, Shoreline, and Linwood area. So either Glenn is lying to his lawyer or his lawyer can't remember which client he was there for. His lawyer was the elderly lawyer. He admitted to the judge that the case was old and he really can't remember what's happened on the case. They've lost part of the case file. And he really, when it was his turn to speak, he really had nothing to say. He had, he, he thought it was because his issue was because the, they argued it was on 12th and Maple and the judge said that didn't really matter, that all the merits of the case were correct and that um, he was not, she was not going to mess with a sentence that fell within the lines. So. Ms. St. Clair did a wonderful job in reciting 10.3a as the reason to deny the appeal. Judge Grant had previously found conviction. His lawyer then mumbled something about the jury instruction. Judge Moore today said the jury instruction was proper and that Mr. Jones would have to have something on his appeal that he could appeal and not just ask for an appeal vaguely, which he was told is what he was doing today. So we finally have a victory in the story of Glenn Serial and the reckless driving case. Good news, Officer Jacoby did not lose his job. He did not lose his home, but it appears Glenn has lost his home and his job. So um, justice has been served today. We finally have a positive verdict in the Glenn Serial case. He has, the appeal has been denied and Glenn will be serving his five day sentence at the Snohomish County Correction. And I've heard that those 
windows you cannot see out of. Um, My so. thanks to Judge Moore for doing the proper thing, as well as Judge Grant, who found no merit in Glenn's case or Mr. Jones' arguments. Yes, we're very, very thankful for all of that. So as soon as I have more information about when Glenn is to serve his time, or there's any new documents filed in the case, I will be sure to share them with everybody. Today is the day to pop the champagne or drink of your choice. So good news, everyone. This is Shay2 signing out. All right, so I stand corrected. All this time, I thought he was out in Texas, where uh, apparently he was in another area. Now, you heard the ladies uh, state that uh, about Jacoby, right? You heard them mention Jacoby. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, all that familiar with Glenn, uh, Jacoby is an officer that, let me just say, Glenn had it in for. I mean, Glenn hated law enforcement because of that particular officer. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I uh, do remember watching a video that uh, Glenn made a comment that he got into this frauding thing because of Jacoby. And again, he uh, made those uh, threats about that he was going to uh, get Jacoby fired and he was going to sue him. He was going to take his home away from him and so on. Okay. And as as you heard the lady state, Jacoby never got fired, and Jacoby still owns his home. Now, again, Glenn, in my opinion, for those of you that are familiar with his videos, then I think you guys will agree with me. There were a few videos that he posted of interactions with police. Glenn was at that point of blowing up, where I honestly thought... He was going to, we were going to, I honestly thought one day I'd turn on the news and hear that Glenn killed a couple of officers. Uh, there were a handful of videos that he put out there of him threatening officers. Honestly, I, I'm sure you guys seen the videos where he uh, threatened a couple of officers that he was going to sweep their legs. And, I mean, this guy had it in for law enforcement. He truly, he... <laughs> Honestly, when I tell you, I honestly say this man was a threat. And I think a lot of us just, you know, we're so used to the other frauders. Uh, we know they're just, they're just a nuisance, let's say. Uh, Glenn was at that point, just by watching his videos, I honestly, it, it was the beginning stages of a serial killer. And again, I'm not trying to sound uh, overly dramatic. Glenn, in my opinion... Uh, was at that point that he was going to do harm to someone, okay? But, uh, again, you know, I, I, you can't, yeah, I don't know how to take him. Uh, we all know he's a pathological liar, okay? I mean, this man could lie to you in your, uh, in your face, and um, he believes his own damn lies. But uh, let's jump back into the video. Now that our friend Glenn is making videos again, I have been getting questions about um, what Glenn's conditions of his probation are. So I thought I'd go over really quick the documents that I, um, that I have for the cases that Glenn are, still has um, probation for. Um, I'm going to start with this is for his trespassing case at the city of Everett Police Department. That's why I started with the picture of the police do not cross, um, you know, authorized personnel. Those signs were put up for Glenn at the Everett, downtown Everett Police Department where Glenn um, received his uh, trespass and interference um, charge. And he had a six months deferred prosecution, which did get put in jeopardy with his Muckleteal arrest. And although um, he did complete his six months deferment, 
um, or his six months uh, agreement, he still has a um, stay out of the area contact, um, a stay out of the area in the um, city of Everett at the um, Everett Police Department. I'm trying, oh, here it is, SOA, stay out of the area. And that is until May 12th of 2023. So um, in May, Glenn is not um, allowed, still not allowed to go to the city of Everett Police Department until May um, of this year. So that is still, oh, and um, it says Walmart on here also, but that is for those trespassing cases. And then this document, it, um, that's still for the trespassing cases. And then um, I found this document is for his reckless driving uh, ticket. And um, it says down here about his five day commitment. And then he's on monitor, monitored unsupervised probation. And um, let's see. And that is um, until 528. Sorry, that's a dog toy. Until July 28th of 2023. And this is on his uh, reckless driving ticket that he just served his five day sentence. And then the final one is for the city of Muckleteal um, for his no trespassing in the city of Muckleteal at the police department. Uh, here are the conditions. Basically, he um, cannot have any negative. Oh, that's where he had to write his apology letters to the Officer Gonzalez and Officer Ball. But he can't have any similar offenses and uh, no trespassing cases until May 21st of 2024. So Glenn has to stay out of trouble until May 21st of 2024 um, or he will be charged with the, um, the trespassing cases in the um, city of Muckleteal. So there it is. And it does show on, um, there's his next court date. So, um, basically he's on unsupervised probation and he's just under the supervision of the prosecutor's office and he can't have any negative police contact and no similar offenses. So I hope that answers everybody's question about what about Glenn's probation. Yes, he is on probation for two years. And the next question is, is how long before get Glenn gets arrested again? The documents that I did receive from the jail show that Glenn only served four days. So that was also why we did not catch him, catch any video of him leaving the jail. And uh, he did check in about 3.30 or something on the Monday, the 12th. So this, um, I requested information from the jail and all the um, documents I received 
were redacted. So his booking photo, everything um, has been redacted, um, except for, this is just his form. And on here is where it shows that he only served four days and um, he got a day off for good behavior. So um, I apologize, I did not confirm that information sooner. I have been working a lot this month and I just didn't have a chance. Um, so the reason I wanted to get make a video today though was hot off the presses, uh, brand new 40 minutes ago, um, Auditing the USA made a post on his community tab saying that he is back. And I found this very interesting because he does say in here that he beat 20 misdemeanor charges. And um, I, I don't know if signing a prosecute or a, a deferred prosecution agreement, if that's actually beating the charge but those, all of his charges are over, except for the um, Muckleteal charges where he signed a two-year deferred prosecution agreement. So he does have to behave for the next two years. I don't know if he understands that, but when he watches this video later, Glenn, you still have to behave for the next two years, but we are looking forward to the next chapter. Um, this also says that uh, the felony charge was dismissed with prejudice. That is also incorrect because the prosecutor never actually filed charges on that felony um, charge from Muckleteal last January where he flinched like his hand out of his pocket. There was, he was arrested but there was never charges filed and the prosecutor still has, I believe they said it was a couple years, they could file charges at any time. So Glenn thinks that that felony was dismissed and it was not. So um, anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that Auditing the USA says that he is back and that there is more to, we have more to look forward to. Um, looks like maybe this he was, made this post from the airport today. So um, I just wanted to let everybody know that yes, he did serve his um, days in jail. At this time, the only charge that is pending is his two-year deferred prosecution agreement for the Muckleteal charges. And he cannot, um, he has two conditions of, uh, he has to, he can't get into trouble and no similar charges. So um, we'll see what happens, but I wanted to let everybody know that uh, Auditing the USA says he's back for the new year. So, Happy New Year, everybody.